What's up Trophy Hunter, hello and welcome to my full platinum walkthrough to Reverie. This time I try to give some commentary on this walkthrough. This could be a little challenge for me, because some of your guys already know English isn't my main language. But anyway, I'm trying to explain everything so good as I can. So let's start a new game. I personally skipped every cutscene and dialogue in the game to get through the game as fast as possible. I recommend instead of running press circle to do a roll. This is a way faster than the normal running. So you can skip the dialogues with the X button. Now we are on the island where the journey begins. The first thing we have to do is we have to go to grandpa's house. Simply head all the way up. Keep in mind rolling is way faster than running. This will save you a lot of time. In the house talk with grandpa again. After a little cutscene we have to go in our bedroom. After picking up the cricket bat, we will unlock the first trophy, not your standard weapon. There is also another trophy in this room, there is a book at the window, simply interact with it and we unlock the trophy, we all need a hobby. In this book you can check out how many feathers you already found, you need a total of 20 feathers to unlock the trophy, ornithologist. Now we are outside again, you can check out the world map by pressing L1 three times. The red cross is the quest marker and show you where you have to go next. Now we have to go to the shop and buy a lantern. After buying the lantern head back to grandpa's house and talk to him again. And he will tell us he needs his book. The book can be found in the basement of the house. This is also the first dungeon. This dungeon is very straightforward and more a tutorial. In the first room exit east, kill all the enemies here, also very important, collect every coin. At 200 coins you get a trophy. After defeating all the enemies, pick up the silver key and head back to the first room. Exit north, kill all the enemies here and exit north again. There are two blocks in the middle, push one south or north and the other west. When you are on the west side of the room, you have to flip three switches to open the next door to north. Exit north again. After killing all the enemies here, the next door will open and we have to exit west. If you don't know it already, the pizza slices will recover your health. That's the first mini boss in the game, keep hitting him, when he is turned into a boar, back off and roll to avoid his attack, you can't hit him, shouldn't take long to get him done. In the next room we find another silver key, exit east side and east once again, east one more time. Kill every enemy in this room, don't forget to pick up every coin. After defeating every enemy the door to the south will open. This room goes dark quickly but you can see the path there. Break the crate and flip the switch.
push the block and get the gold key. With this key we have access to the boss room. So head back out. Flip the switches 4, 2 and 1. Now we can cross the bridge. Open the door with the gold icon and we are in the first boss room. The strategy for this boss is very easy. Avoid her when she's shooting laundry, bait her in the air, into dropping and attack while she's down. After defeating her, we get the first health upgrade, exit east and we get finally the book that grandpa needs. We also get a story related trophy, basement dweller. Now we are back in our bedroom, head to grandpa and talk to him. Now it's time for some miscellaneous trophies and there are a lot of these ones in this game. Outside again speak with the dog a few times until it says something different than woof woof and you will get the trophy Mr. Millen. We can also get another trophy by interacting with this dog. We have to push the dog down all the way to the beach. Here we go, the trophy walk is unlocked, take Ruby for a walk to the beach. Now we have to do a side quest, head north to the fountain, speak with Jeff the fisherman, after that Jeff will disappear and we have to find him on another 7 spots to get the trophy determination beats luck. But for now we will focus on the main quest. Let's get to the forest. You don't need to kill every enemy here in this area. Try to avoid as many as you can to save yourself some time. Enter this house and talk to Grumpy. He will give us a quest item. After obtaining the membership card, we have to go to the hot spring. Don't forget if you get lost, simply check out your world map. So we are in the hot spring, now we can enter it because we have the membership card. Here we can get our first support weapon, the yo-yo. Picking it up will give us another trophy, wind it up. 
now we can get also another easy trophy out of the way. Bring up your inventory with L1 and swap two items around to unlock the trophy. This can be done at any point in the game. Now we have to head back to the forest. With the new yo-yo weapon we have the ability to flip switches through blocks. And you can also stun the enemies with this weapon. A very useful tool, especially in the dungeons. Simply follow this route, it's very straightforward. Here we can also find our first feather. Now we are in the second dungeon of the game. This is the first time we will encounter these purple slimes. They need to be stunned with the yo-yo before you attack them. In this dungeon move to the east side first. In this room we have to kill every enemy again to open the next door. Keep picking up the coins and don't forget to stun the enemies to make your life a little bit easier. So many things now should be very self explanatory so I don't will comment on every room now. But of course I will explain the tricky parts in the game, especially the miscellaneous trophies later.
In this room we finally get the dart weapon. Picking it up will give us another trophy called Nerf This. Equip the weapon and shoot the target near the door and the door will open.
The strategy for this boss is also very easy. You can hit his tail with the dart gun or the bat. If you're running out of darts, kill the smaller worms to get more darts. After defeating this boss, we get another health upgrade. Now we are back in our bedroom, so it's time for some another miscellaneous trophies. Get out of the house and head to the west side. Get on the rugby field and try to push the rugby ball between the goal posts. Here we go, another very easy trophy for us. Now we're focusing on the main quest again and we work towards to the dungeon number 3. Speak with the girl and she will give us another quest. We have to get the shower for her. We can find it in the house with the green roof. With this new toy we can finally move the brown piles with the colored dots in them.
In this room we find another useful item, the snorkel. It will allow you to cross over water. When it's equipped you can just walk into the water and walk around. Press triangle to actually go underwater. Your time is limited when you're underwater. And be careful you can't use any other item when you're underwater.
The strategy for the boss Inki is equip the snorkel and the dart gun. Attack each of his three tentacles, in turn using the snorkel to dive below the incoming ink. When he is dizzy shoot him with the dart gun, do this three times and exit north after that, grab the hook and he's done.
back at grandpa's house. Finally with the new toy the snorkel we have access to some new secret areas in the game. Head all the way down to the beach. Jump in the water and exit west. Against the cliff is a small cave you can enter. Once you swim bit into the cave the trophy will unlock. There's also another feather here. There is also another secret area on the east side. On this small island there is a cave. Enter the cave to unlock the trophy. There is also a feather here. After picking up the Wacker Feather, swim back to the island and talk to Jeff. Also very important, speak with the Kiwi on the other side. You need to speak with three different Kiwis in the game to unlock another trophy. After speaking with the Kiwi and Jeff, you can exit this area and head to the east side. Enter the house and speak with the microwave, which will challenge you to a game for micro pong, it's just air hockey. Whack the puck with a cricket bat until you reach 5 points. After winning the micro pong game, you will unlock another trophy and also get another feather.
After picking up the Kingfisher Feather, go up all the way to the north to find Jeff fishing on another spot. Before we go into the next dungeon, we're doing a little bit of clean up, picking up some feathers and talking with Jeff on different places. There's also another trophy for exploring the whole map in the game. This is the reason why I swim here all the way to the west.
So this is dungeon number 4. This dungeon can be really complicated and is based on moving rooms of the dungeon around in a circle. To open different paths it can be difficulty to know which was to go next so follow this guide exactly to set you in the right direction. In this room we get finally another toy, the pet rock Steven. The rock can be used to hold down pressure switches or block some laser beams. You can also hit him with a cricket, bat or dart gun to move him of the switches to another location. Thank you. 
The strategy or tip for this boss is you can get right up in this guy's face, just make sure you dodge his water shots. Sometimes 5 will spawn but 4 are fake. Hitting the fakes spawn a ghost. There are also sections where bumpers will spawn and you should hit Steven around this to continue. When he's down leave and grab your hook.
now we're on the trail farm. This is the last time we have to find Jeff. After talking to him, he is going back to his home. Later we will visit him at home and getting our trophy. Here you have to kill three rats. The rats drop some kiwis. After getting a total of three kiwis, head back to the mountain and gave these three kiwis to the workers and this will open a new path and you have access to the new dungeon. There's also another kiwi bird you have to talk here. And on the northwest side another feather you can get here. Here you can find the last kiwi you need to talk. If you found all three kiwis, the trophy you know them well should unlock. So this is the fifth dungeon in the game and also the longest one. There are many enemies and switch puzzles here. With following this guide you should have no hard time to complete this dungeon as fast as possible. Sometimes I also have to kill myself in this dungeon to save some time.
This is definitely the hardest boss, he has a few attacks, a charging attack you can dodge, he will shoot a yellow boar and you can hit it back. He can shoot some lasers off his eyes and you can block this by placing Steven above you. 
Save your darts for near the ends. As the floor gets smaller, it will be harder to navigate. After beating the final boss we are back in the house, just exit the house and the cutscene will start. Now we have completed the game. After the credits simply load your save file. Now we have access to a bonus dungeon and we also can do all other trophies we have missed so far. Now after going through all the dungeons and beat many enemies, you should finally have 200 coins. If you don't have 200 coins, simply go and kill some enemies or play the bonus dungeon. The bonus dungeon gives you many coins. Head down south to the shop and buy the wheel shoes for 200 coins. Now we finally go to Jeff, the fisherman's house, talk with him, give us a trophy and another feather. And there's also another feather in the small room under the stairs. This trophy is for exploring the whole map. If you don't have the trophy already, 
check out your world map and visit the places you haven't already. This is the bonus dungeon. There are no puzzles in this dungeon. You simply have to fight your way through 20 rooms of enemies. I recommend buying 2 or 3 health items by the shopkeeper to make your life a little easier. There's also one feather in this dungeon. Be sure you don't miss it, it's in the room 17. Also a good strategy is to stay in the doorway when you enter each room. This way most of the enemies won't be able to touch you, but you can still hit them. Thank <laughs> you. 
I almost forgot one trophy, the right side of history. In the option menu, switch the option for pineapple to no to unlock this trophy. If you're playing the Japan stack of the game, you'll have to change the option and then find and eat a slice of a pizza for the trophy to unlock. After completing the bonus dungeon I have a few trophies left. There is a time and place for everything where you simply have to use the wheel of shoes in your house. And we also have to beat the high score in the arcade house. Beating the high score in the arcade house gives us the last feather we need.
In the arcade house you have to beat Brian's high score. If you're beating Brian's high score you get the last feather and beating the total high score which is 10,000 points you get another trophy. One game costs 10 coins but you shouldn't have anywhere enough coins after beating the bonus dungeon. Once you pass the 10,000 points here just die. After getting every feather in the game, just go back to grandma's house, talk with her and she will give you the last item you need and the platinum will unlock. If you missed anything, a trophy or a feather, check out the timelines in the top pinned comment.